Hello everyone, this is Arafel with another one off. If you remember Nanaka Crash, or well, the developers of this certainly did, this is Katawa Crash. It's basically the same concept, except the characters, instead of being from Crash Channel, are from a game called Katawa Shoujo, which is, I believe it was, it's a visual novel, but I believe it was written in English to begin with. Now, the concept of Katawa Shoujo is Katawa is roughly means handicapped, so it's a special school where everyone there has some kind of uh, disability. So the main character, Hisao, has a previously undiagnosed heart problem. There's a character who doesn't have mo the lower parts of her legs. There's a character without arms. There are some who have vision problems, and so on. Again, the how to play. It's the same basic concept as Nanaka Crash, where you have the power thing, you click and release to do that. You have their up launches, you have your down launches. Uh, in this game, instead of being a girl on a bicycle, there's uh, the wild and crazy girl and his defibrillator, or AED. Misha is kind of nuts. Uh, there are various other strange things that have been added to this game. It's and it's the same similar concept as Nanaka Crash, but they've added a lot of other weird stuff to it. So you get things like these pigs, you have the Rin timer that does stuff, there's more complications with the specials. There's more characters. Uh, Shizune has a similar role to Misada, where if you hit her, that ends your Rin unless her special is active. Uh, Rin, Emmy, and Lily have the different degrees. Except in this game, Lily combos with herself and is the 45 degree character, and Rin and Emmy are linked to each other. Uh, Muto is the guy who slows you down. Yuko is something that's unique to this game as compared to Nanaka Crash. She gives you pigs. Pigs, when you hit the ground, those are used up instead of reducing your momentum. Hanako works a lot like Yuko, where she runs off and things can happen if you hit someone at the right time. Misha takes the role of Nanaka, except she's, well, just read the description. The nurse resets your angle to 45 degrees, which is another thing that's not Nanaka Crash, and Kenji is the character who messes with your angle and nobody likes him. Uh, both in Katawa Shoujo and in this game, really. They also threw in some achievements, where I have some of them here. Um, on that note, you can have different save slots, so let's just do a new one. Akatawa. Here we go. And no achievements so far. And we have our launch meter here. We're not immediately put out on the game track, unlike in Nanaka Crash. Yes, as I recall, Katawa Showstar starts out with him getting a love letter from a girl he likes. And because of his previously undiagnosed heart condition, he basically has a heart attack right there on the spot. And yeah, it's not pretty. We have this Roomba music going in the background. We have more references to more things. Uh, there are even special, um, what do you call them? Not decoy, uh, cameo characters. Yeah, that activated the Rin timer. I'm not sure how or why. If the panic thing going, you have Misha sticking yourself in there every so often to indicate that one of the special specials is available there. There's a T-Rex going in the background. That happens so much often. Yeah, it's like Nautica Crash, it's a pretty sil silly game, but they crank the silliness up to 11. As well as it being in English to begin with. Let's try to get some of the weirder specials to go. Yeah, homework, that slows you down. Which makes sense, homework slows everyone down. But she's the one who gives you the pigs, the gives you extra bounce. He's a conspiracy theorist, so yeah. She's panicking. If I get far enough to hit... There we go. Special, special. Yeah, as I've mentioned, Misha is kind of off the wall, even in the original game. And in Katawa Crash, this is cranked up to 11 and then some. So you get ridiculous stuff like this. And yeah. Rin timer is still going. I think if you hit Rin before that expires, you get an extra life. Which, basically, when your run would otherwise end, you get launched in the air and keep going. But the timers run out. I forget what starts that in the first place, also. There was one of the guest characters. 
There's another one, which I just missed. There's another one here. Football. Yep. It's a reference to... Was it Tecmo Bowl? In any case, you have him turn to a football and gets run and run and run for a touchdown, eventually. I believe your momentum going into it determines how far this goes. Yep, here we go. Touchdown, Thurman Thomas. And his out gets spiked, still as a football. But it's not over yet. Oh, you get an achievement for that, by the way. Yeah, you have a kickoff after the touchdown, of course. And that sets him back to his normal self and does the normal music starting up again. And we're back to regular gameplay, or as regular as this game gets, anyway. As I've mentioned, the weirdness is turned up to 11 and then some. And as you can see on the characters going by, there are some strange ones that are not part of the regular cast. Every so often. There's one of those Minecraft uh, creepers. There's something from Even going on. There's her special. I believe it works like Misao's in that if you land on her after hitting another girl without hitting the ground in between, then you get the special. Getting more achievements, I think, for speed, distance, and height. Yeah, the achievements can be interesting. Some of them, it's fairly straightforward how to get them, and others are just really weird and obscure. So when this run ends, I'll try to demonstrate uh, another two or three of them, I think, that you can get pretty easily. There goes the dinosaur again. Yeah, the speed of the background scoring is proportional to your character speed, so the faster you're going, the faster that zips by. You get the motion blur lines going if you're going fast enough. There's some kind of city in the background. I have three grease piggies, I have most of the down charge going. Three up charges. I'm not sure what this bard here is, either. I think it gradually charges up as you go, and if you get far enough it hits max, and then it doesn't seem to actually do anything. I think it may be something they were planning on putting in, but never got around to. Hey, we're up to almost 10k already. With the amount of ridiculous nonsense going this, it's somewhat easier to get long runs than it is in Nanaka Crash. I think that's the achievement for 10k there. Speed, uh... Can I change the speed? No. I think the speed is just forward speed all the time. You can't change it like in Nanaka Crash. Try to knock him down as someone. Nope. I'm pretty sure that even if you do hit the ground right away after that, using the down special does still give you extra momentum overall. And yeah, there is the Roomba course, and the Roomba course going, if you hit the girl that's lit up for that Roomba thing, then her special, or even her normal attack, is a bit stronger than usual. Conspiracy guy again. I think if you hit him when you're already going at a exact 45 degree angle, you get a just according to Keikaku. So you can. Yeah, she's the one who has uh, her lower arms, or lower legs are not there. Uh, yeah, she. What was her name? She's a student council president. I what? I keep wanting to call her Hei Misato because that's the one from Nanaka Crash that has the same function. But no, she has a different name. Yeah, that's one of the guest characters there. Wait, what was I saying about her? I think... Uh, no, I'm getting confused with something else. She, I think, is deaf in the actual game. Which is why she has Misha as uh, basically an attendant. To, uh, interpreter, if that's the word I'm looking for. An Aiden interpreter that goes around with her. Uh, the conspiracy theory guy is almost blind. I think legally blind, but legally blind doesn't mean you can't see anything at all. He can make out the big shapes, but that's about it. Anyway. Uh, Lily, the... I think her name is Lily. The yellow one. I think she's also blind, but I think she's more so.
She's also much less paranoid. Oh, there's our dinosaur again. From Dinosaur Comics, I believe. Down shot. There's straight. Dive Bomber, I think you get for uh, launching him down directly into a character. And yeah, if she catches you and it's not a special, your run's just over. I'm also fairly certain the Ballistics Club is not an actual thing from the game, but uh, you'd expect that. Uh, this disable stuff was just stuff that was never implemented. There is a link to the development thread. I don't think there have been any updates since I've gotten this. Anyway, this, like Nautica Crash, is a Flash game, but it comes in the standalone player, so it's... Um, yeah, you don't have to worry about getting separate standalone player. Freebird, hit five characters that hit the ground, dive bomber. Yeah, these bottom achievements, it will tell you the names of them before you get them, but not how you get them. The silver and gold, it will give you the instructions for how to get them. So let's try to get one of the, a few of the other weird achievements. I think if you launch almost straight up, you'll usually get... Uh, not this time. Let's try that again and see if I can get it to work. You may have to be closer to 90. I'll just go for a weaker launch, maybe. There we go. So that's one of the big characters from Katawa Shoujo, as I recall. I don't remember much about them, except that I think they're officially a boy, but don't look like it. Yeah, I believe you get an achievement for doing this. Yep. And pardon the error interruption. There are two achievements there, so... Pardon the interruption, I think, is just your run is really bad, and with a whimper is rolling to a stop. Yeah, half the fun is trying to find out all the weird stuff and strange achievements and other bizarre stuff. Misha, like uh, Yuko in Nanaka Crash, has those weird specials. I think I did show one of them earlier. There are others. Yeah, like I said, half the fun of this is finding the weird stuff. Anyway, this has been Arafelon playing Katawa Crash. Feel free to go for it and check it out yourself if you're interested. Yeah, have fun.